Hola, como están? And what is going on, guys? Darksim here, and we finally gotten the wreck items revealed for the Ghost of Meridian update coming out for Halo 5. And quickly taking a look at the reveal sheet, those gravity variants, which we will be going into detail in just a little bit, as well as the suppressor variants. Pretty interesting stuff here. And of course, the skins for the weapons that we're getting is blue steel. A nice combination of colors for each weapon. And I'm actually wondering if this is a reference to the movie Zoolander. If not, either way, the weapons do look pretty nice. Taking a look at the assassinations, we are looking at two of them. One fisticuffs and the other one take a look. We have yet to get any confirmation or any real animations for what these will be. But there will be a live stream for this update. And that will be coming on Tuesday, April 5th. And that should be going up at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time over at twitch.tv slash halo. And moving on to the visor color, it's looking like we're continuously getting at least one visor color each update. And for the most part, they haven't really been anything too special. I'm hoping that one of these updates will include something that isn't just colors, but maybe some sort of animations. Visor animations in which it changes colors or it has some sort of rainbow effect would be kind of cool to have. I think that would be one of the next steps to making every single piece of armor a little bit more interesting than just one plain color. And of course, we see all the variations on the Dynast set that we are getting, the Mark V variants and the Mark IV variants as well. And for the armor mod, we're looking at Grenadier. Once again, something that we don't really have too much of. And we're finally getting a stance with the Needler being showcased. This one's called Pink Mist, and it's looking kind of cool. I would have preferred something a little bit better for the Pink Mist. Definitely something along the lines of holding it in front of the Spartan instead of kind of just this stoic kind of look from the Spartan. Either way, it's cool. And because we are getting a Needler stance, we're also getting some emblems, a nice Super Combine one, a distraction one, an old school one looking back at the salt emblem, the dog pound emblem, the steak tacular emblem that was revealed to us before, and last but not least, the money eights emblem. Now I believe the money eights emblem is a reference to the pro players as playing in eights lobbies where they handpick team captains and make their own teams depending on who's in the lobby to a maximum of eight players. And of course, to get the best practice out of it, they bet a little bit of money on the side and they go at it in a best of five or seven series. So that money eights emblem is definitely an ode to them, I believe. Kind of cool to see something like this coming in as an emblem. And jumping back into the weapon variants, we're taking a look at first the Corpse Maker. In the description, it is described as an improved gravity hammer with uncalibrated amplers that generate an unstable gravimetric vortex at the point of impact. Now it's looking like it'll be some sort of weapon in which it sucks your opponents in closer towards you. Actually be pretty interesting and very nice for the gravity hammer. It's definitely one of those weapons in which it's hard to use efficiently in Warzone. So the Corpse Maker is a nice addition to the Warzone sandbox. And the grinder is described as an improved gravity hammer with faster swing time and additional energy capacity. So just the standard souped up gravity hammer nothing too special here and of course that is expected as every single weapon has at least one of those variants unfortunately we didn't get any real info on the suppressor variants hopefully we'll see some really cool things out of it i'm guessing that the song of peace variant is kind of just a souped up version with more ammo maybe even faster fire rate and the razor's edge will probably be something along the lines of a crazy Promethean projectiles, something along the lines of a needler, but that is just me guessing off the top of my head. And that's a quick look at all of these variants. And that's just a quick look at all the rec items. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the description of a few of these items. Be sure once again to tune in to the Halo livestream where they will be showcasing all these new rec items at twitch.tv slash Halo. Once again, that is Tuesday, April 5th at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know what you guys think about the Gravity Hammer variants. And as always, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.